Hey guys, welcome to another Project Pan Art Supply Style video inspired by the beauty gurus and their endeavors to use it or lose it with um, some of their massive collections of makeup. I thought I need to do the same thing with my art supplies at the beginning of the year. And pandemic and worldwide apocalypse or no, I am going to continue with the project. Um, so recently I, in the last month, have filled these two boxes up. We have two more boxes off to the side. Let's talk about those first. So when I go through things and do a big purge or use things and decide if I'm going to use them up or like them or not, um, if they're still good usable goods, then I put them in a priority mailbox and I sell them as sort of a semi-mystery blind box in my Etsy shop. I have two boxes. Generally, the boxes sell pretty quickly. I have two that didn't go very quickly. And they're full of things like um, some tote bags and some custom keepers. Um, but I'm just, nothing wrong with the products, I'm just not using them anymore. Some yo-yo makers. Um, there are some prints of my artwork in here. Uh, one of my paper clip art things. Um, some of my custom dyed ribbon. Um, there is a bag of Feels like pants. I've forgotten what's in here now. Oh, cray crayons and Crayola markers. Um, some wooden blocks. Some vintage little plastic jars. Here we are. Um, some handmade journals and things like that. So I have two of these boxes and I did go ahead and open them because if I can fit any more stuff in them, um, i.e. this stuff, I'm going to do that. These two boxes will still be for sale. Um, I may split up some of the um, vinyl stuff that's in them into the third box. I'm going to make a third box. <laughs> Gotta make a third box. Um, yeah, so I have enough, I have plenty enough to make a third box. So we're going to do that and I might split up some of what's over here into um, those two boxes that are open. So that being said, I took a few things out of that one box. Um, okay, so we're going to do this box first because um, I had too much for the other boxes than what I normally keep and so I dumped it in here. Um, so I have these little cases that I usually use for travel watercolors and honestly I haven't been using them, I've been using something else. So that, a mini clipboard, I'm not using them. And I have others that I am using that they need to go. Um, I use these um, Stabilo highlighter markers for my daily drawing. I really only use the pastel colors. So I have um, contacted my daughter. She's taken colors that she wants um, out of these and also the Faber-Castell ones and she's left the rest in here. I don't need the stand, so the stand is actually trash. Um, but we have some highlighter markers. We have a bunch of paint pens. Now I haven't tested every single marker and pen that's in here because um, there's just, honestly, there's not enough time in the day for that. But as to my knowledge, all these all work. So there is paint pens and paper make pens and charcoal pencils and gel pen, metallic gel pens. One of the things I discovered, I don't like metallic gel pens. Like I, I like the flat ones. Um, I also like Uniball Signo gel pens, but only certain colors. So um, some um, graphite pens, some paint pens, mini paint pens, mini water pot. Look at all these pens and pencils. Look at this. There's one that's broken because honestly I pulled it out of the bag. I broke it when I was pulling out of the bag. So that that's in here. I'll try to remember to tape it up. There's two mini watercolor kits in here. This one um, and if I'm not mistaken these might be Daniel Smith colors. I don't remember. I took the original colors out and put artist watercolors in that I know for sure. And then this one that I made out of a pill box from Daiso. And it has a mini pencil, mini water brush, paints. 
There's no color key. I never made a color key for this one, but I'm not using it, so it needs to go away. I like making them, but I don't use the little kits. Look at all these pens. Like, it's just crazy ridiculous. There's this little, like, syringe water pusher thing. This actually goes in here. This actually goes in here. I'm not sure why they send you that. I think it's to fill your watercolor palette, but your wells. <clears throat> but look at all these. There's an elastic band. You can use as a belly band on your journal. Look, you just think I'm done, right? No, keep pulling them out. There are some mini minis in here. I'm gonna pull the minis out because the minis originally were in here. So let's put them back in there for somebody who gets this. <clears throat> you, think I'm, you think I'm done and I'm like not done. These aren't pens, let me be clear, these aren't pens I used up all the ink in. These are pens that I just have an excess of. and pencils look at that and I found all of these all of these minis are intended for putting in here so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that and they will go with whoever gets this kit and there's one of these is a little mini pen ball, ballpoint pen There's that. That is actually a pocket page, but this little closing thing is like broken. It doesn't really close, see? So we're gonna throw that away. There's a tin, a Royal and Langnickel tin, empty tin. I may fill this with some of the pencils and then put that in, the in one of the boxes. There's some original artwork of mine that is um, on plain white cardstock. These were originally done as samples for maybe future stencils, and some of them were eventually done as stencils. So they are going to go in the box. I also went through a bunch of collage stuff, and I found this huge stack of paper I don't need, including maps, a vintage calendar, which I'm not even sure is going to really fit in here, not flatly anyways. So I'm not sure how I'm going to, like, what I'm going to do with that because it's not going to fit in the box. Um, <laughs> I don't even have any place to put it down. Okay, and look, look at, you should see the stack of magazines, magazine pages. Many, like so many. You, know, you think like that's all of them, right? No, there's so many. I kept a lot, but I had so many. And then there's some um, coasters, some with some artwork on them. A phone book from Lake Tahoe, California that's great to paint in. I kept one, but I'm, I don't need two. More pencils. Oops. Some little pieces of wire. I think these are like Christmas ornament hooks. Yeah, they're like little hook. Where are we? Hooks. And they are in this bag that looks like a mason jar. Some scraps of paper from making some um, drawing journals with printed with my artwork on them. A little piece of doodle paper. I did use up these two, whoops, these two pens. 
So they, these are trash. So this is a refill for the refillable Sharpie fine point, and this is a non-refillable Sharpie fine point that I used up. So these are trash. The rest of this stuff is all gonna go into one or more purge boxes and be for sale in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, check out the video description and the boxes, the listings usually have a um, sort of loose description of contents and the boxes are sealed once I pack them. So I don't really know which one you're going to get other than if it's like one with like vinyl stuff in it, I'll put, you know, I'll put tote bag or vinyl or something on the side. And then um, if I have one that's just markers only, I'll put that on a note on the side so I don't pull one with markers for somebody who didn't want markers. So I think we'll do that with some of that. And um, anyway, <clears throat> yep, so we're gonna count some of these boxes and if you want some of this stuff, let me know. Um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, put something down below. I'm losing my train of thought, can you tell? <laughs> I wanna cut in here before we say goodbye on this September Project Pan Art Supply style. I took the rest of the collage papers and that calendar that I couldn't squeeze into the other three purge boxes and I put it in this collage paper purge envelope. Now, I can't guarantee they won't get to you undamaged, but I did my best to get them in here as flat in the envelope as I can. But there's almost two pounds, there's at least one and a half pounds of paper, images, and that calendar which has cool images in it in this envelope. So, yep, that'll be going up for sale too. Anyway, all right, on to the next. <laughs> oh my God. If you want one of the boxes, um, follow the link in the description below and um, I will send it out as soon as possible. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. If you can support the free content here on YouTube um, or over in the Facebook art groups, I sure would appreciate you either shopping in the Etsy store, becoming a patron over on Patreon, YouTube membership, something like that. So check out the video description and my link tree list of links because all the stuff, uh, the links and places where I am on the internet and ways to support me, it's all in the link tree list of links. Um, and not just for me, for all your favorite creatives because they all probably have a way and if they don't, ask. Um, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. And above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.